Hi, my name is Uttam Grandi and I'm an origami artist. The Rubin Museum of Art is a museum in New York City dedicated to Himalayan art and ideas. The museum has almost 3,800 objects in its permanent collection and throughout these works of art you'll see many important symbols including the lotus. During the museum's temporary closure, the Rubin is launching the Lotus Effect, a digital and physical participatory installation made up of folded lotuses contributed by the public. In this short video, we'll look at the symbol of the lotus and what it can mean to us during difficult times. I'll also provide instructions for making your own lotus and invite you to participate and contribute to this collective project. What is special about the lotus? In Buddhism, the lotus is a sacred symbol associated with purity, awakening, transformation, and compassion. Lotuses grow in muddy, murky waters, rise to the surface, and unfold. They bloom untouched, untainted, and they serve as a reminder, albeit a temporary one, that moments of beauty can emerge from the toughest conditions. For those of us who are fortunate enough to emerge on the other side of this moment, we will forever be reminded of our journey, and we may have a different idea of what normal looks like. However, we hope that, like the lotus, we will bloom. That's why today, I'm going to teach you how to create a lotus of your own using materials in your own home. As you make your creation, think about who in your life could use a reminder that it's possible to bloom on the other side of challenging times. Maybe it's a loud one, an organization or a cause that you want to support. We all need reminders that there is a world and people that we will return to on the other side of this, even though it will be different than the world before the pandemic. Let's start making our lotus. Here's what you'll need. One square piece of paper, which measures at least seven inch by seven inch, there are two versions of this activity. One, where you can make a lotus that looks like this. And the other, where you can keep folding to make a more advanced version like this. Let's begin. What I have in front of me is eight and a half by eight and a half pink colored paper, which looks identical on both the sides. Now to begin with, you make a diagonal fold by bringing this corner to the corner on the opposite side. Once you have a fold like this, you unfold and then you do the same thing on the other side where you bring this corner here to this corner here. Now I unfold. What you would see here is an X. Now you flip the paper and you bring this top edge to the bottom edge, thereby forming a crease in the middle. Now what you would do is you simply unfold and you'll see there are two mountain folds which intersect at a valley fold. And you would just try to see the intersection point and you try to pop it from the other side. And what we have here starts to look a little like a 3D shape. Now without creating any new creases, you try to collapse this whole thing into a triangle. Now after the collapse, 
this is how it looks like. Now for the next step, you have to take one of the layers and you find the middle point here, the middle point, and you make a fold away from the center. This is the center line, and then you make a fold away from the center like this. And now you take the opposite layer, this one, and then you do exactly the same way that I did now. You try to make it like a mirror image. Like this. Now the remaining two layers that you have, this one, and again you take this and now with this line as the reference, you fold it away from it. And if you try to match these two V's that appear, that is ideal. And now you do the same thing on the other side. And this marks the end of the first version of the Lotus. You can stop here and call this project done, or you can keep folding and make a more advanced version of the Lotus. Now for those who chose to stay and keep folding, what you would do is you take these two out of laps and you reverse the creases that are already made. So when you open, you see these creases here and here, and also those corresponding creases here. We reverse those folds. So to reverse the folds, you open partially, and then you try to fold along thus created folds like this. You see how this points outward as opposed to inward. So this is how it was, and now this is how it looks now. Now we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Again, we open it partially, and we try to pull this thing without creating any new creases. This is how it looks like. In this step, if the whole lotus unfolds, it's okay. You can fold this thing back together. Now what you would do next is you maybe correct some of the steps here. And you take the inner layer, this inner layer, and you fold it halfway through like this. You see, so this becomes the inner petal. Now what you can do is you can take these inner flaps, inner petals, and you can tuck them into the outer petals. So this is a pocket, and then you tuck it in. And then again, this is on the pocket, and then you tuck it in. Now, you take the remaining layers here with this line as a reference, and then you fold all of these towards the back. So I'll flip the model and fold it one by one. So you fold this thing here and you fold this there as well to the back and then you fold this one as well to the back. So this is how it would look like. 
then you lift it up and you tuck these two tabs into this pocket. So now your Lotus model is 95% done. And the interesting thing about this model is this can stand up with this as the base. This stands up. I'll show you from the side how it looks like. So this becomes the support for the Lotus. Now, if you want to make this more uh, rounded, you can even take these little corners here and you can fold them to the back to give the outer petals more rounded edges. So there you go. Your origami lotus is complete. Now you can place this somewhere important to you. If you have any issues, it's okay. Unfold it and try again. After you finish, place your lotus somewhere meaningful to you. Take a photo of it, share it on social media using the hashtag the lotus effect. Make one and dedicate it to yourself or tag a friend or a family member. Your digital submission via the hashtag will later be used in a physical installation at the Rubin. Stay tuned for more details. This Lotus is dedicated to all of you who are watching this video. I hope you feel inspired to make a Lotus yourself. I'm very grateful to our online communities and the way we have banded together. It makes me feel hopeful that like the Lotus, we will emerge on the other side. Visit rubinmuseum.org for more information and step-by-step -step instructions on how to fold your own lotus and participate. Please leave your comments below and tag anyone in your life who might want to participate. Thanks for watching.